Hi guys, I'm iPhone 6s from 2015 and this guy has decided to review me after five years. So if you like this video of mine, make sure to give that a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. So guys, this is the Apple iPhone 6s, one of the most selling smartphone of 2015. Its sales were so high that it broke every single record of that time. But coming back to 2020, things have changed. First of all, when someone sees a phone, they see the display. And talking of the display, this phone already puts a bad impression on everyone's mood. This phone comes with a 4.7 inch tiny display with thick lower and upper bezels. Now it's totally out of 2020's standard. Phones in 2020 have different concept. While they used to have larger 6 to 7 inch displays and about 90% or above screen to body ratio, this phone still stands tall at its price. I personally don't really have a lot of problem for having a 60% screen to body ratio on a phone. This looks pretty decent to my eyes. It costs you about 120 US dollar or about approximately 20,000 Indian currency. And it's pretty less price for what it still offers. The screen although being very small is a LCD IPS display and to be honest it is one of the best LCD IPS displays that I've ever seen. Phones in 2020 having AMOLED display don't even offer such quality viewing angles and such quality colors that this phone from 2015 offers. Media consumption is not the best on this phone as it does not have 1080p resolution but it's decent with 720p. Now coming to the build of this phone, now this is where Apple just excels every single company and forces their user to buy the phone. It's an aluminium body and have a nice feel to it. It's pretty compact so it fits anywhere you want to. Apple is always known to give the best finish touches to its phone and it's clearly visible here. The placement of the button, the alert slider which is one of the most underrated feature in OnePlus and Apple's phone, they just make this phone so much better and so much user friendly. Now coming to the inside guys, it comes with an A9 Bionic chipset of Apple, 2 gigabits of RAM and a 1715 mAh battery. Now considering the screen size, I think this set of configuration is pretty enough to give you an overall great experience. You're probably gonna feel no difference than using an iPhone 11 and an iPhone 6s on daily normal usage and games. Now, as you know the iOS operating system is pretty optimized so 2 gigabits of RAM is equivalent to about 4 or 6 gigabit of Android phone RAM. The battery is pretty decent even it can easily go about 4 to 5 hours screen on time so you're gonna have a decent battery in the overall day you might not end the day with your phone having charge but it's almost gonna go 90% of your day easily now another thing Apple is very famous for guys is you know the updates Apple is the only company till date which offer about five to six year update since the phone is released 2015 plus 5 2020 so you still get the latest iOS update on this 2015 phone that is the iOS 13.5 same as the iPhone 11 and SC which is a very good gesture from Apple and we thank Apple for that. Now coming to the camera, the camera is pretty decent. You don't get the best photos in low lighting but coming to the high lighting places you probably get great to decent photos and it's pretty normal, pretty good, pretty nice in 2020. So yeah, we don't have much to talk about this phone now. So this is all the phone offers and this is all what you get for 20,000 Indian currency. For me, it's a great one, but considering its price in India, I think you can get better phones at this price. But if you are one who considers privacy over features, then definitely you can go for this phone and have a nice time with it yourself. So that was it guys. If you like it, make sure to give that a thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. I'll catch you guys in the next one.